Today we're going to focus on fillets and polygons. This is a quick hit video so it won't be very long but I wanted to uh, demonstrate how to use the fillet command in the new 2016 operating environment. So what I've done is I've created a basic layout here and we're going to do a quick uh, fillet on uh, between the uh, the circle and the lines and the first thing we have to do is trim it and one of the nice things about the the trim tool is that when we select the trim tool we can select all the objects or we can individually select the objects and, and one of the nice things now is that it highlights the selection uh, choices that you make once you've selected all your cutting edges right mouse click and select the objects to trim and so ultimately you wind up with um, the cleaned up drawing but the corners still need to have a filleted edge because having a sharp edge like that isn't necessarily desirable uh, so we're going to use the fillet command and the fillet command works a little bit differently actually you can still type in the same same old options but you'll notice now on next to the select first object or the little square with the arrow key. What that means is the down arrow button on your keyboard. So if you use the down arrow button on your keyboard you pop up a list of the options. Um, this works quite well uh, in using that button to accomplish that task. One of the other ways that you can do this is select the fillet command and right mouse click to get to the options also, the pop-up menu. Uh, on your system will allow you also to get to the radius option and that's the one that we're interested in but it's important to know that when you choose fill it you can use the down arrow on the keyboard to pop it up right mouse button or you can type in the capital letter R uh, and then hit the enter key to invoke the radius command so the radius command will set that up and we're gonna go ahead and put in um, quarter inch radius here and we'll see how that looks we're going to select the objects where we'd like to keep them so in, as, a, as the opposite to the trim where you're selecting the objects where you want to get rid of them the fillet command we want to pick where we want to keep so if we pick this object and this object yeah that radius is really small let me do another one so we'll repeat the fillet command I just right mouse click there we'll choose repeat fillet right mouse click again choose the radius this time I'll put in uh, a radius of about two inches We'll select the two objects we'd like to keep and you can see that the original radius is still there I can delete it by gripping it and the radius gets put in the other object that I wanted to show you here is the polygon command and so the polygon command is found under the rectangle so we can choose polygons it'll ask you the number of sides and so we're gonna go ahead and select six sides is our polygon for this particular object it'll ask us where the center of the polygon is and I'm going to go ahead and put the polygon in here inside the center and then it asks whether it's an inscribed or circumscribed about the circle and what that means is the distance uh, the radius distance of the polygon so if the radius distance goes from the center of the polygon to a flat surface then it's circumscribed that's most of the polygons that you are going to encounter are going to be circumscribed if the distance is from the center of the polygon to a point of the polygon then it's an inscribed polygon so we'll choose circumscribed and the polygon itself uh, we will set this as 2.50 inches uh, of a radius which means that the distance across the flats is 5 inches so this particular polygon distance from one surface to the next surface is a five inch distance so from here to here yields a five inch distance so that's the quick hit video on fillets and uh, polygons and we threw in trim as a bonus uh, but remember fillet right mouse click down arrow on the keyboard select the radius option type in the radius select the objects you would like to keep where you want to keep the objects and you'll see that the radius pops up as a temporary object until you pick the second object have a great day